Hello, and welcome to the Knitting Traditions Podcast. My name is Inga, and this is my little corner on YouTube where I talk about all of my knitting. So I hope you're settled in and ready for another episode. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi. I hope that you enjoy this content. Today, um, I've already recorded a special episode with all of my makes of 2021. So hopefully I will have released that somewhere around um, this episode. And then uh, now I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been working on since last time. So I have a finished object to show. This is the Eben sweater by uh, Hillesvog. It's a yarn kit that I bought there and me and my mother knitted this together. So for this one, my mother knitted the body and the sleeves and then I knitted the color work yoke. This uh, is knit in their, mm, what was the name? I have the name of the yarn here. This is their Embla base, um, which is, it's, I would say, a DK weight yarn. And I used these two colors right here. This is what I have left. I had five skeins of this and one skein of this for this sweater. So quite a bit left of the, of the contrast color. Probably half a skein would have been plenty. I did a different neckline than in the pattern. It was a rolled neckline, but I decided to do a ribbed one instead because I had tried on the sample of this in the store and I wasn't quite happy with how the neckline looked. So this has been finished and washed. I have not worn it yet. Um, it is a lot stiffer than the other one that I showed you in the last episode, this was their kneecap sweater in their lamb's wool and pelt wool base. This is a lot le less, this is a lot heavier and stiffer than this one. So I think I prefer this yarn, but um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I finished another sweater. This is my third ranunculus, and uh, I think this is the front. I knit this in um, the British Breeds cone from Woolly Knit that I bought. Um, this is a light grey base, and I think I knit this on four and a half millimeter needles. So my gauge is a lot tighter than the ranunculus pattern is, which is a one size garment. So for me, this was actually close to zero ease, maybe plus one centimeter ease. Um, I made it long sleeved. I did maybe one extra raglan. Um, I made the body a bit longer. Always when it comes to length, I usually ignore the patterns because no person is the same and I'm tall. So I usually knit everything longer. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out though. Um, it was quite see-through when I was knitting it. Um, it's a light fingering weight, this uh, British Breeds comb. Uh, but I really wanted to make a garment where it got to shine because this was my favorite color of the cones that I got. And I think um, this pattern was great for that. It bloomed quite a lot with washing. I knit the sleeve straight. So I could wear it with just underwear underneath, but probably I will have a top underneath it. Um, and it's a really nice light warm garment so I think this is going to be really nice to have when hiking uh, in the summer months to put on if it gets a little bit chilly it's also going to be one of those nice everyday garments to wear with jeans um, so yeah I'm really happy with how this turned out and yeah I did show these the last time but now I have uh, woven in the ends and I've washed it. So this is my Huldras Mitten Mittens pattern and these are a pair, my hair is everywhere. <laughs> these are a pair that I will gift to my brother uh, next time that I see him. And then 
I finished. I finished another pair of my moose hell or cabled sock patterns just without the cables with the rounded toe that I have in the cabled socks pattern in uh, Mondim yarn by Retrosaria Pomar. I think this is such a stunning sock yarn. I can't wait to make more in this yarn. It's just so pleasurable to knit with this yarn compared to superwash yarns. It just feels really nice in my hands. Um, so it was a pleasure to knit. I also really like how it knit up. Um, it just looks really nice and even. Um, I have wanted to show this to you guys, so I haven't worn it yet. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how they wear and hopefully um, they will be sturdy and it won't get holes quickly. If they do, I will let you know. And I have a hoe. So again, the same kind of vanilla sock, which is a mix of my two sock patterns, just plain stockinette, but the rounded toe. And this is hedgehog fibers, which I bought at the yarn store at the cabin. And this has really been sort of a in the car knitting. Now I made a mess because I've been pulling this in and out of my bag repeatedly but I got quite far um, the second sock so I've turned the heel I'm done with the heel now and I'm just on to stockinette island for the body of the sock and I'm gonna detangle my mess so that I can show you a very genius construction obviously this is not supposed to be thrown in and out of your bag so I was gifted this twister and now I've really gotten to try it. This has been a faithful companion in my car for car knitting and it's just brilliant. So when you're knitting with it, you just pull and it rotates. Um, I can't wait for the warmer months so I can also bring this when walking outside. Can't recommend this enough. They gifted me this. They're not paying me to say this. I didn't have to show it again, but I generally really enjoy this twister so i wanted to show it again uh, because if you like uh, knitting on the go or when you're traveling this is a really great companion so i just need to finish up the second sock now um, not as pleasurable to knit with this hedgehog yarn as the mundine because it is a superwash and i can feel that when i'm knitting with it um, it just doesn't feel as nice in my hands i guess but the color is stunning so i'm gonna love them anyways and then i almost have another hoe this is a sock a plain vanilla sock again that i'm knitting in a men's size to go into a gift box but i always <laughs> I always wonder how long to make the foot before starting the toe and my intention is to make my boyfriend try these on um, before doing the toe but I just haven't gotten around to it and I am knitting this in a Tweedy Regia yarn so yeah that's on my needles I've also almost finished this thing this weird thing right here is a headband. So I knitted a long tube and then I knit my live stitches together with the cast on stitch so that it created a double folded sort of fabric. And then I just kept knitting in the round and it is long enough now so that I am actually currently in the process of binding off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it again and then I am going to stitch it um, to the inside of the double brim just below, uh, just above this edge so that on the outside what it will create is something that looks like this. So it looks like a rounded uh, headband with no seams 
but it's a triple layer. So it's going to be pretty windproof and this will be a gift for my father for going cross-country skiing because it will keep the ears warm but you can still let some steam off at the top. And I'm using Arvetta Held Double on 3.5 millimeter needles. And I cast on 120 stitches. So that's what this is. Hopefully it will look okay in the end and it will fit. And um, if he really likes it, maybe I'll make some more for myself and other family members because it is really nice to have something that's warm on the ears, um, but not always needing a hat because then you can wear your hair up if you have long hair, etc. And then I have two big whips which are almost done. I'm sorry if I'm going through quickly, but I've been recording for quite a while. <laughs> so I'm kind of into the whole um, podcasting let's go <laughs> style. So this is the Billy Pullover uh, by Saturn, Saturn Nordland. I think that's I think it's yeah I'll, I think so this this um, I cast on very much inspired by the Crea Bea podcast the color is also very much inspired by the Crea Bea podcast I want to be you uh, <laughs> this is knit in some stash yarn that I got from my yarn swap with Sue this is um, a yarn from the Macausland mill in Canada and it has no name as far as I'm aware. It had no label. I have six, I think, of this and I'm going to be using up five and a half skeins, probably. Um, I'm almost done. I've finished the sleeves and I've knit the body to the length that I'm happy with. So I'm going to change for smaller needles and do the ribbing now. I am wondering if I'm gonna undo the neckband that I made and knit it again because it's standing up a bit when I wear it and that's no fault of the pattern I'm not using the yarn recommended this can probably stand up on its own it's quite a dense and stiff fabric so I think that's what's going on with the neckline so either I'll rip it back and go down two, three needle sizes to make it even more compact and maybe that will make it lay more flat because it'll be a smaller circumference. Or maybe I will do some extra decreases um, to have less stitches. Third alternative is to just put in an elastic band, but I don't really want an elastic band around my neck so I'll probably rip back and do that. Also, I am wondering if I am going to rip back um, my cast off for the sleeves and do a few more rounds before binding off because when I tried it on, it's sort of, it's an okay length, but it's bordering on being a little bit too short for my liking. So I might do that. I have enough yarn to do that. Um, I'm trying to force myself to do those little extra steps to make sure it's as perfect as I can get it because then I will wear it a lot more instead of just putting aside, ah, it's done, I don't need to do it anymore, it's fine. Because then I know those little details will bug me a little bit because I could so easily fix them. And the pattern is stunning and this yarn is really special so I really want to make sure that uh, I put in the effort to do it right. Uh, this went by so quickly. Uh, I'm not using a cable needle, I'm just holding the stitches between my fingers. Probably using a different yarn would have been better for this pattern, but I'm really happy with it. Um, a more rounded yarn would probably make the cables pop a lot more than they do, but I think they pop just fine. <laughs> I really like how it looks um, and it was a really enjoyable pattern. Um, I think it's stunning. So if this is done and I love it as much as I think I will, 
probably I'll make more in the future future because it's a great pattern and I think it's a really beautiful cable sweater maybe also make one with a turtleneck who knows but it's really really nice and it's gonna be really really warm I have one more like I said and I'll try not to break it I've been knitting the tulip pullover by B Mandarin's Melody Hoffman. I've had this pattern uh, in my library for a long while and I'm using some unspun pencil roving which I bought from Hillesvog. It's the same uh, fiber they use for their troll base and so far I have almost finished the body. I just have a few of those um, scalloped edges to go and I have held this unspun pencil roving fiber double for this sweater and yeah I think it's really nice um, I didn't use a silk mohair which is used in the pattern because I didn't meet gauge so that means that I have to be careful with my tensioning to not break the yarn I have had a few accidents of it breaking but it's really easy to split splice it together the fabric it creates is very different from all of my other garments it's very soft and airy but in a rustic way um, I prefer knitting with other yarns because it's speedier uh, and I like to just not think when I'm knitting. With this I really need to be mindful and careful but that's also special in a way. I do hope that the neckline will lie... oh no this is the back... I hope the neckline will lie flat and nice um, after washing it. If not I will rip back and fix that. And this is the first cake of yarn, which was 200 grams-ish, so that got me pretty far. I think I'll probably be able to finish the, the body with this, and then I need to break into the, um, the second cake to finish the sleeves. But that means, since I have three cakes of this, I could make two tulip sweaters with that, and I'm making the second size but my gauge is also slightly looser, slightly looser, maybe one stitch looser than in the pattern. So I'll go somewhere in between size three and two and three um, for the fit. And I think it's gonna be nice. Again, I didn't listen to how long to knit it uh, because I'm tall, so I'm somewhere in between the cropped and long version for this. And I think it's gonna be perfect. And I think it's gonna get a lot of wear. So even though knitting with this is not my favorite, I do enjoy the result. And the process is enjoyable just in a different different way. Uh, yes, and I'm using my Haya Haya Sharps and I find that's good to knit with, with the, for this yarn. Um, so yeah. I have some acquisitions to show you. If you're not into acquisitions, that's fine. I'll see you next time. Um, maybe a little bit of admin before that. Uh, one of the winners of the Guld um, uh, Natural Dyeing book didn't get back to me uh, several episodes ago. So I'm going to be drawing a new winner, putting the name here. And please get into contact with me. Uh, on Instagram preferably so Guld can send you a book. All right, acquisitions. So first off I received another knit crate box. I'm an affiliate member which means they sent me two skeins of their monthly subscri subscription every month and if anyone uses my discount code which is knitting traditions they usually get 20% off, but right now they will also get their first box off free if you're interested, but you don't have to. So this yarn I just got 
This is the Audine Wool's Harmony base and the color is Rock and Roll. It's 41% wool, 26% alpaca, 23% tensile and 10% baby camel and it's a worsted weight. Um, so you can do a preview uh, view on what base is for each month uh, but you can't choose which color you get. I feel really happy with the colors I've gotten so far. I think except for like two or three months, uh, most of them have been um, neutrals. So that's right up my wheelhouse. And um, I don't think I've gotten any superwash yet. It's all been really soft fibers though, like camel and baby this and that. Um, the baby camel in this and the tensile makes it really nice and soft. The wool and alpaca makes it really warm. And I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful yarn. And I'm not sure what to make with it, but it will be something beautiful. Um, I know Pearl Soho has some really nice free hat patterns. And I really enjoyed the watch cap hat, which I've knitted two of from them. And I used my knit crate for that, a different base. Um, so I think I'm going to be making more of those in the future. They would make great gifts. And you always, if you get these boxes, you always get patterns intended for the yarn. I just go rogue and knit what I want to. But there are patterns that come with it. And this month they also sent me some soak soap in pineapple, pineapple grove scent. Which is really nice. I do love a good wool soap for my knits. And then I got a belated um, Christmas gift from my cousin's girlfriend, which was amazing. She sent me this beautiful, beautiful yarn that I think they got when they drove up to Lofoten, oops, which is in the northern part of Norway. This is called Stein Yara by Lofoten Wool, and it's from 2018. It's a white um, whole year wool um, that they have carded up, and then they have colored it with leaves from North and Norway. I think I'm not good at translating on the spot, but it's 100 grams from Happy Sheeps is what it says. And it's 210 meters. And she also sent me several of these little stitch markers. And I have already separated it and started using them. <laughs> but there were several different um, laser cut wooden socks of different um, sort of sock designs, you could say. Here's a stripey one. So that was a really, really nice surprise. And I can't wait to use this for something amazing. I'm not sure. I guess it's not a sock yarn per se, but it would make some amazing socks or maybe mittens. And um, I have been wanting to get a yarn from Rauma for quite a while. There is this sweater um, that they designed that I now finally got myself because I figured I've wanted to get this for over a year so I'm gonna treat myself now. So this is the kit that I bought for myself and it's called Arles Kusegenser and it's just a very boxy oversized sweater which is knit in this beautiful yarn from Rauma which is called Alpaca Lean. So it's an alpaca linen blend. So I think I'm going to save this for spring or summer um, since it's uh, sort of an in-between season yarn with the linen content. But I got this sweater kit for myself. And this is the color that is in the sample photo, and I just thought it was so pretty. So I want this as well. 
And the reason that I finally treated myself to this is that I was already on their website to get their new sock base because I really want to try and knit with more bases like the Mondeem this year. So sock yarns without nylon that are non superwash So 100% animal fiber sock yarns. And they have a new base, which is called Vandre, uh, which means to wander. That's a word, right? In English. So I got these three um, colors. Again, my hair is everywhere so i'm surprised i have some left on my head so i got the, these three colors in vandre so this is the zero one color this is the 11 color and this is the zero six color these were my favorite colors out of what they had this uh, base does not come in a lot of colors like their phenol which has more than 130 different colors um, but I just really wanted to try this base and I couldn't decide between these three colors. And Rauma is quite an affordable um, yarn producer. It's a family run business in Norway. And I just really love the quality of their yarns and they're affordable and they're 100% wool usually. So I got all three. And it's a lot stiffer than the Mondim yarn it's 100 percent norwegian wool um and it's 120 meters per 50 grams so that would be 240 meters per 100 and they recommend a 3.5 millimeter needle but i will probably knit this on a 2.5 or 275 because if you have a tighter gauge it's more durable and so looking forward to see how it knits up and how it wears and um i caught my mom stealing yarn for my sweater quantities at the cabin and i love my mom and i fully support her knitting but um don't touch my sweater quantities so i suggested to her that uh, we should get her some yarn for herself um so that's what we did i took her to the yarn store close to the cabin and we found some lovely yarns for her. She's been knitting a lot of cowls. Uh, she knit based on my cowl patterns, but just like me, she's not very good at following instructions. So she's been knitting her own um, color work patterns for them, which are really cool as well. So we got some Rauma Fienel for her because it's great for cowls and mittens and color work. So we got her a lot of different colors and I just couldn't resist. I had to get myself some colors as well. And I got like one skein or two skeins of each of the earthy tones because I want to make um, knitted squares. Uh, something that I can have on the go, like if I have a calm moment at work, because you know, we have those 25 hour shifts, then I can just knit a bit on a little square and it, I don't have to think. And once I have a lot of knitted squares, I'm going to crochet them together. So that's kind of my plan. No idea when I'll start or how many years it will take me, but I think it'll look really nice. So to give you an idea, um, this is the Varda sock base, but this is kind of the color that I want to crochet them together with, like a, a warm neutral. And then um, I got contrasting colors such as these. Um, so browns and rusts and greens. So yeah, that's the plan. And that was everything that I had to show this time. My boyfriend just came through the door, so I think I'm gonna round this up because it's awkward to talk in front of people to a camera. And I will see you next time. Please join the Rustic Knit Along. Knit with any animal fiber that's non superwash, no artificial um, materials in it, like nylon and polyamide and such. 
and whatever you make uh, use the hashtag rustic knit along on Instagram um, and we will draw winners sometimes throughout the year it's very casual um, just for the love of the natural fibers and I will see you soon stay safe and happy bye